sweet friends and welcome back to our kitchen. If you're like me, you usually have your protein picked out for what you're gonna make for dinner. I kind of know like what's in my fridge or my freezer for the week, but where I get stumped is side dishes. So today I'm gonna bring you four amazing, easy side dish recipes that your family is going to love. So for this first one, I'm actually gonna take you guys back to the other night and share my new go-to side dish recipe with you. I have been looking so forward to sharing this side dish recipe with y'all because it has been our go-to lately and it is a recipe that is so easy it will like pair with lots of things and we make it multiple mm. times a week this goes with like I'm, it, it's the perfect little side accompaniment it is so i've got some whole carrots you can do like if you just want to get like a bag of carrots from the grocery store or even the little chips we've done the chips ones and i love those because yeah, it gets almost coins. a little crispy yeah so any carrots is fine. Use what you have on hand. So I just kind of like cut off my little tips here and then I'll cut these into like bite-sized pieces. And listen, I hear y'all talking about how you don't think Monkey and I eat vegetables, but I assure you that we really do. And we have been making these all of the time. Like it, it's one of our favorite recipes right now. A new staple in the household. It is. Well, as you get like up towards the thicker part, I feel like you have to start cutting them shorter, you know? Well, this, this is my tip. For the ones that are in this thicker part, I just kind of go down the center. Whoa. Okay? Because then you have just like a better, more even cook. Ah, uh, you just provided a solution to the problem that I had. Now, per bunky, he would probably tell you they all need to be the exact same shape and size. If you ask me, you like a little variety in your life. You can make a little party of carrots in here. <laughs> I wonder if anybody is um, surprised that we like carrots. I love carrots. Actually, it's one of my favorite vegetables. In fact, I will tell you um, the honest truth is, as a little girl, I didn't like vegetables that much, and as I've gotten older, I eat more and more of them. But carrots has always been a staple for me. Even when I was younger, I used to love carrots. I was gonna say that we like carrots because we're bunny or part bunny that's right over here i'm gonna go ahead and get my pan on just like a medium heat we're gonna add some butter in here it doesn't have to be a ton just like a tablespoon or so a little more for good measure that's right <laughs> so now to my melted butter i'm gonna add in some crushed red pepper flakes if you don't want the heat then just don't add these in i think the crushed red pepper flakes are nice though because they kind of bring a little bit of contrast you know carrots are a little bit sweet yes and then we got some good butter in there and then you can do like just salt pepper and garlic i have you guys know like this um garlic salt that has a little pepper in there so i'm going to use some of this then you're going to add a good amount of honey now this is my secret ingredient if you have like a favorite barbecue spice blend i know this sounds crazy but i tried it and i cannot explain to you how it just is like the icing on the cake for this not a lot just a tiny pinch of like a sweet savory heat barbecue rub yeah if you don't have that you could probably just put paprika in there paprika would be really good yeah especially like a smoked paprika that's actually a great idea but i love this like little sweet heat one we have pinch just a pinch so i just add that right on in literally just a little pinch then just toss these around so everyone gets nice and coated we're gonna let them cook and kind of soften up for probably about 10 minutes and then we're actually gonna pop them in the oven for the last 10 minutes y'all i forgot the most important ingredient in the carrots you have to add garlic mm. how would i forget that bunky how much are we going in with a tablespoon oh my gosh okay that's a lot that's good <laughs> If you are doing fresh garlic, just do like one big garlic clove and add that right into these carrots. Okay, so you see how this like honey and butter almost like caramelized down with these carrots? This is like what you want because you want them to get nice and almost like sticky. The other thing too I like about uh, this carrot cooking method is that like we used honey as the sweetener, so I don't feel as guilty about sweetening up the carrots. You know no, I mean? the like most unhealthy part is the butter. So once you've cooked them for about 10 minutes and your oven comes to temperature, <laughs> it was like right on time, just transfer them to a baking dish. Can't lose that. No, that's the good stuff. Kind of spread them out a little bit mm, and I then like, just I like that one he's standing up for us and then just pop these into the oven at 400 for like 10 minutes you want them to get almost like caramelized oh yes look at that look at 
that is what I'm talking about. You see how like, hopefully you can tell, let me zoom y'all in. Do you see how kind of like on these tops, they just get a little bit, you can see on that one, caramelized. And I am telling you, they have the best flavor. This one right here looks exceptionally delicious. Yes. I'll bet you watch this. Oh, oh my gosh. Can I? I'm jealous. Oh, it's so soft. Aren't they the best? Mm -hmm. Y'all, you've got to make these carrots. It is the best little side dish. They just have so much variation amongst them. Yeah. It's like I, I got sweetness first and then I tasted carrot. And then now a little bit of that spicy stuff that you put on mm -hmm. there is coming through. Ooh, They're garlic. so good. Okay, now I don't know about y'all, but I love watching grocery hauls halfway because I'm like nosy, but also I just love seeing what other people get because it gives me ideas of things that I want to try. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what I got in my Thrive Market haul this week. So I got some of their avocado spray and then I also got some of their organic honey. You guys know I'm trying to find like healthier pasta alternatives. So I'm excited to try this bonanza. It's made with chickpeas. And then y'all know we are obsessed with the Siete brand. So I grabbed some of their just like tortilla chips and I'm pretty sure I show you guys these in every single Thrive order but they are truly my favorite chips in the entire world. They're the sea salt vinegar with a hint of serrano. We picked up some of this spicy salsa and then this one we've actually never tried. We're gonna do like a skirt steak steak taco soon and so we got some of this salsa cremosa to go on top. We thought that would be really good and then y'all know I love Primal Kitchen dressings and marinades and I also love buffalo sauce so I cannot wait to try theirs. I will report back on this and then last thing I grabbed is this big bottle of liquid aminos. You guys know I love lots of things that include soy sauce and so I'm trying to be a little healthier so I was like I'm gonna swap that out for liquid aminos. So if you do not know what Thrive Market is, it is an online membership based grocery store with an incredible selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements they have cleaning supplies non-toxic beauty personal care items so much more they have two different membership options so you can do the month to month which is $12 a month or you can just do the one-time annual fee which is $59.95 which comes out to $5 a month and let me tell you you are gonna make back the 60 bucks in savings because here's a little secret if you find a product for a lower price anywhere else Thrive Market will price match for you. They already have so many amazing discounts, but then once you join, you can check the deal section on their app or website for even extra savings. We love it because it's so convenient. I can order online, and because I'm not going in the store, I usually save a lot more money doing it that way on top of all of the other deals and savings that I get through Thrive Market, and then it's delivered straight to my door. It is super fast shipping, and orders over $49 ship for free. I know I've told you guys this before, but it's so cool that on Thrive, you can filter it by your dietary restrictions or your lifestyle. So if you are gluten-free or you're doing Whole30, you can filter it to get your specific needs. We love Thrive. I know so many of you guys already love and use Thrive as well. If you have not tried it already, now is the time to sign up because you're going to get 30% off your first order plus a free gift up to $60, but that is not all. On top of my 30% discount, Thrive is running a huge sale this week on hundreds of products. So now is the time to sign up. I'll have all of the information down below in my description box. Now for this next one, my friend JC actually made this one and I immediately commented and was like, I have to make this soon. It just looks so good and it's a very easy recipe and I'll link her YouTube channel down below for you guys, but we're gonna make like a garlic Parmesan rice. The best part, it's ready in about 15 minutes. So I have my pan over here and I'm gonna get it on like a medium heat. And then to that, I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of butter. And if you're using fresh garlic, do like one to two garlic cloves. I'm just gonna do this minced garlic, so I'm gonna do about a tablespoon. Now, depending on the size of your family, you may need to like double this recipe. I have about a cup of rice here, which should feed, you know, three to four people. And I did go ahead and rinse this rice. This is actually a hot topic. I wanna know, do you guys rinse your rice or not? I don't normally, but JC did, and so I was like, well, I'm gonna rinse this as well. I'm a fan of pre-rinsing the rice. You like to pre-rinse? I do. I wanna know what you guys do. Okay, we are like sizzling over here. I got all my butter melted. I can smell my garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice in. We're gonna season this up. I'm gonna use a little bit of onion powder. Ooh, you're making my day here. <laughs> Just a little bit. Her recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm gonna add just a pinch of smoked paprika because I just like that flavor in my rice. Just a pinch. We'll add some garlic powder and then just a little bit of salt and pepper. We're 
gonna add about two cups of chicken broth. So just stir this all around and we're gonna bring this to like a little simmer and then we'll pop a lid on and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes. Let's see if our rice is cooked. Oh, that looks so good. I'm gonna kinda get in here and fluff it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, do you see? That is so fluffy. It's fluffy, it's tender. Those bottom pieces got a little bit of that like crunch and caramelized. Wow, okay, we are not done though. So to this, I went ahead and sat some milk out whenever I first brought this to a simmer so that the milk was like room temperature and not just ice cold when I put it in here. But I'm gonna add a big splash of milk. It's gonna make this so creamy. And then you're gonna dump in a good amount of Parmesan. Stir that all together and then we're gonna pop a lid back on for just a couple of minutes until that cheese melts. Like he said, we can add more cheese. <laughs> Never enough Parmesan. Cheesy rice. I'm gonna do a little bit, I'm gonna do the rest of this milk. That's probably, I don't know, half a cup of milk. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more Parm. I'll turn this even lower and then just like literally a minute. I feel like we don't give rice a fair chance sometimes because I'm such a potato lover. True. I feel like a lot of times we have potatoes as a side dish. Yeah. We need to like do rice more because this right here is gonna be fire as the cool kids say. <laughs> yeah, well I feel like with rice sometimes you can be intimidated by it because when it doesn't come out right it's a disappointment. And I've had a lot of times it didn't come out right. But when it does, which this looks over the moon good, you're just so happy with it, you know? Show us if this cheese melted. Oh, that cheese is gonna be melty. Oh my gosh. Y'all, let me see if I can get you in here. Do you see just that beautiful velvety Parmesan cheese melty on top? <laughs> Now listen, if you have like some fresh herbs or parsley um, that you want to put on top to like add a little bit of green in here, that would be even more beautiful and a great presentation. Mm -hmm. We don't, so we're going to eat it like this, but I am so excited to taste test this. You know what I want to make with this? What? Like a bowl. Like I want to put like some great grilled chicken in there. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. How? How? I feel like the milk just gives it that creamy, amazing richness, but then it's like that Parmesan, the fact that it got kind of like crispy on the bottom gives it that nuttiness. This is wildly delicious. Ooh, and so easy. I think Parmesan cheese is the secret ingredient here. It makes it more like decadent. Like Ooh, it, it, yeah. it makes it feel more like you're eating like dinner. Yes. You know? Like that, that's, that's joy in my heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love this. I know. There's just like, just enough garlic in it too. Oh my gosh. It's not overpowering. Like you don't feel like you're eating just like garlicky rice, but it's just there for you. Literally, this is my favorite rice dish we've ever made. You know my favorite chicken and rice casserole like that we always make? Yep. This is the rice in that. I know, it's just exactly what it reminded me of. Oh my gosh. And using the chicken broth instead of- uh, Water. Yeah, regular water. I will link that recipe down below as well, but if you guys have been around here, you know that it's like one of my favorite, favorite recipes we've ever made. And the reason I love it so much is the rice in that has so much flavor, and it's exactly what this tastes like, but like way easier. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed. All right, here's a couple more side dish recipes. To this day, I still get asked about this salad all the time. If you haven't made it, you've gotta try this one. And I'm also gonna share our favorite potatoes we've ever made, a creamy Caesar kale salad. And actually one of you sent this to me. And thank you so much to the sweet girl that did because Bunky and I made this last night and it was literally one of the best salads I've ever eaten. And so we were like, we gotta make it again tonight. So to make the dressing, you're gonna use some sour cream. This is actually what the recipe calls for, but you could also make this with Greek yogurt. If we had some, we probably try it that way, but we don't. So we're gonna use the sour cream like it says. You're gonna use garlic, lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, and some olive oil. And it tastes like the most amazing Caesar dressing you've ever had in your life. I promise it's so good. 
How much is that? Cup? I don't know. I just did two big tablespoons. By the way, I'm going to leave this um, recipe down below in my description box for the exact measurements. Oh. What? I was going to say, Bunky. What? But that's like a cup of sour cream. A Bunky. <laughs> you and your measurements. That was not two tablespoons. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, but it's like not even half a cup of sour cream. That's at least half a cup. Bunky, you it are crazy. I'm going to add in some lemon juice. Ooh, that was a juicy lemon. That was a juicy lemon. I got you. To that, we're going to add some olive oil. And then Bunky will add in my salt and pepper. Okay, so then we have our kale salad here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dress it. So I don't like huge croutons. So I just took some croutons and smashed them up so they're a little bit smaller. And Bunky's gonna put our dressing on. Y'all, that is the best dressing ever. Tell me again. How am I doing? <laughs> How am I doing? Bunky, you're doing great. But it's gonna need a lot more than that. Dressing? Yeah. I don't know, you think? We're gonna give it a second. Okay, but I'm telling you. You're probably right, but... I don't know, it all goes a long way. I know, oh my gosh, Punky, it's so good. I'm drooling. Go ahead and try a piece. Oh, I know it's good. Okay, I'm gonna put in our little croutons. Is that good? I'm gonna yeah. them all in. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, put us a little bit more dressing and toss. So good. It's so good. I know. All right, a little bit more dress. Okay, and once you've got your salad toss, you're just going to go in with some Parmesan, dust it on top, and this, my friend, is one of the best salads you will ever have in your whole life. I promise it is so good. We're making homemade all ground potatoes, but you'll see because it's not just your normal all ground potatoes. Time to slice and dice. <laughs> and everything nice. Okay. We have not used this in a very long time. And to tell you that I'm not a nervous Nancy would be an understatement. Well, my goal is to keep all fingers, fingertips, fingernails, skin. Is that too much? But well, we're gonna try and keep everything attached. If y'all know, you know. Yeah. If you've seen Bunky use this thing, it's a scary situation. But we'll we'll figure that out later. <sighs> no, you have to pro you have to it, Bunky. No, that has to be attached completely. No, I know, I know. I, I'm saying I'm I'm I don't know how to. There we go. Got it. We're going to use some gold potatoes and we're going to slice them super, super thin. Oh, and we're, and we are in. You see that? Wow. We don't, do we want, we don't want that one because it has the skin on the whole thing, right? Yeah. Can we just tell y'all the reason why Bunky loves the mandolin is because they're all perfectly even slices. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Here we go. In that one, you push. No. Oh, oh wait. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> this might be a little too. Oh, but we are too thick. Okay, we need these to be a little bit thinner. Okay, well we can adjust. By the end of this, we will know how to properly use this. I sure. Because there's a, see, there's a handle to grip with right here. Mm -hmm. I always had it facing the wrong. Well, I shouldn't say always, but I had it facing the wrong way in our initial demonstration. However. This is how you properly use a mandolin. Okay, so now that we have all of our potatoes beautifully, perfectly sliced, and this is like the consistency we're looking for, almost see-through, paper thin. And this is like, how many, four or five? I was four. Four 
I would say on the larger side, gold potatoes. So now we need to make our like creamy mixture that we're gonna pour over top of these potatoes. And the um, recipe where we got this from, he used it like, he used it. Is that what I just said? Mm -hmm. He used it. <laughs> He used um, roasted garlic and he found it in a squeeze tube. I searched our grocery store and could not find that. So I don't have roasted garlic, I'm just gonna use regular garlic. And then he used goat cheese, but he used truffle goat cheese. And my grocery store did not have truffle goat cheese, but we've got, remember this, the smoky the truffle? smoky truffle. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that into our little mixture to give it a little truffle taste because I think that's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Um, and then he used chives, and since I don't love onions, we're gonna use like um, all kinds of herbs. These are going to be ah. crazy delectable, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start with heavy whipping cream, and I only have a little bit in here, so I have another container. If this is not enough, what do you think? That might be like the perfect amount. Is that about a cup? That's probably like three-fourths of a cup. I think we have a little bit less potato than him. I'm gonna add in some milk. Is that good? Mm-hmm. And then next I have some goat cheese, and I'm just gonna kind of break this up as I add it into my mixture. Okay, go ahead and kind of whisk this all together until that goat cheese almost like combines with the cream and milk. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my smoky truffle. And this is kind of salty, so I don't wanna use too much, but just enough to kind of give it that little truffle flavor. Perfect. And then I'm gonna add in my garlic. And y'all know we like a lot of garlic, so I'm just gonna do kind of a big spoonful. And then our little herbs. I have been getting these at the grocery store and we love them. They are perfect to just kind of like top any dish. We had the basil one as well and it was really good. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna add a good amount of this in here to our mixture. And then lastly, I had some of this mozzarella and provolone and I thought that sounded really good to add in there. So I'm just gonna do like a little handful and then mix this all together. Okay, this mixture already smells amazing. Bunky is outside getting the big green egg all fired up so he can go ahead and get that hot. And then I'm gonna take our potatoes and just kind of mix them into that mixture, get them all incorporated, kind of let them sit for just like five minutes and then we'll start layering it into our cast iron skillet. Bunky said he's buttered me up. <laughs> Get my cast iron skillet ready. You need to go ahead and preheat your oven to 400. If you're gonna just make these, like the normal recipe, you're gonna bake it in the oven for like an hour, an hour and a half at 400. But we're not making them normal. No. We're gonna start them out normal. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, you got me all buttered I might have, up. I might have got a little, uh. There is no such thing as extra butter. You leave well, all that goodness in there. I mean, I'm trying, but I don't know where it's gonna go, but you know, we'll. We'll figure that out, won't we? Oh, it's gonna just just be marrying it all together. Okay, I told Bunky not to wash his hands because <laughs> since no. they're already all buttered up. I got a joke, I got a joke. Oh, tell me. What is the, uh, what is the thing, the thing that they say? The baby better let a finger on my butter finger? Uh-huh. <laughs> I got butter fingers. You got butter fingers. Okay. okay, so since B has butter fingers, I'm gonna let him keep his hands dirty and do the potato situation. So we're gonna take the potatoes and as much as you can layer them flat, mm -hmm. instead no, of no like- No fold overs. No fold overs and don't like thickly bunch them together. Even layerage. And you you would be the perfect person for this, okay? I hope I do not disappoint. You won't. So then just keep making your little layers and then basically once all this is layered, there's gonna be a bunch of liquid and cheese at the bottom of this bowl and that's what we will dump on top. I'm just going to tell you that I'm not doing this right here because there's going to be like milky cream Seepage. cheese drippage that yeah. we're not dripping. Okay, let's do it somewhere else. Yeah. Where you want to go? You want to know something? What? This, just as the gentleman was saying, uh huh. this already smells out of this world. I know, it really does. What did Uncle Mark say, Bunky? What did he say? Do the work. 
That's right. If you put in this work now, the result is going to be off the charts. It really is. Wow. Every potato is accounted for strategically placed now okay so you see how we have all of this oh wait I forgot one. Oh, let me get that one there. <laughs> a little sloppa <laughs> i love a sloppa bunkie <laughs> okay so we're just going to take all that excess and just pour it right on top she is already a beauty oh my goodness this thing is heavy okay this is going to go into the oven at 400 and we're going to let it cook in there for like We'll say 30, 45 minutes, but then we're gonna take it out and put it on the big green egg to finish. Okay, it's only been less than 45 minutes, and it's supposed to cook for like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. I think we might be done though. I... It has not even gone on the big green egg yet. You weren't supposed to tell them. What do you mean? We told them. That, that was a surprise. We already said it. No, we did. Yeah, Bunky, we you did. You started saying it, but then you said, no. Nope. back. Open the oven. It's gonna burn. <laughs> it's not gonna burn. B, wait till you see this. Holy smolies. <gasps> wow, let me turn this down so you can see this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why is it so cooked on top already? I know, I don't think we can even put it on the BGE. No, I think it's done. I don't think so. I think those potatoes got to keep on cooking and becoming friends with everybody in there. But I mean, they're friends. They're friends. Do you see it? I mean, it's looking pretty friendly in there, but I'm just thinking there's a chance that it could keep cooking for like maybe another 15, 20. Maybe 10 minutes on the BGE. Okay. I'll agree to that. Okay, go put it on there. Do you have your little rack set up? Wow. This have here? you used this yet? No, this is the first time we've ever used <laughs> the second rack. You just put it over top? Well, this normally, you might would normally have put it on here. You can bring your hand. There we go. But can I just tell you, the smell of this is crazy. I wish y'all could smell it. And this is going to hold this concern so it's this heavy. That's what they say. Oh, that's very durable. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even, I was watching. <laughs> it's very right, durable. But you gotta, let me, I think this cast iron might be too big. You think? Close think it. So. Try and close it. It's not going to close. <laughs> I turned the oven off so it'll just sit in there and just... You don't want to like just like have it cool like okay hanging out at maybe like 300. Bunky, I'm gonna have it hang out at 350. I can agree to that. 20, 25 more minutes. No, 10, B. Plus 15. No. Where's Crunchy? Well, she was outside. Oh my gosh, we left Daisy May outside. Oh, you did. You didn't want to close the door on her. Daisy. She's probably trying to go around front. Daisy May. Oh, we have, oh, there she is. Okay, if we don't start cutting into this soon, I'm going to like take a nose dive <laughs> into these. Okay, I don't even know where to get in here. I'm just gonna like do a little are, something. Are you cutting a piece of pie? I'm cutting a piece of pie, Bonk. Potato pie. Yes. We've gone from spaghetti pie to potato pie. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I need to bring that plate over. Okay. That's, that's far enough. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can't even deal right now. Wow. I literally cannot deal. That was a joke. Let me, let me cut a whole other pie. Let me, let me just in real quick. Do you see? Look at this, Ed. Look at this over here. Oh my goodness, my mouth's watering. Okay. Uh, I, th I think that's a good serving. That's a good serving. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm excited. Okay, I cannot wait another moment. And just so y'all know, neither of us have taken one bite of- Not, not so much as a sniff. Nothing <laughs> of these potatoes. So this is gonna be our true reaction. Y'all. 
if you never, I mean, if you ever needed a reason to get a mandolin. This is it. It is so you can slice your potatoes this thin and make this right here. The thinness of those potatoes <laughs> make them like a little bit crunchy. Oh my gosh. I am dead at these potatoes. So tender. I am dead at these potatoes. Oh my goodness. I don't even like potatoes. I know. It's almost like you're having... They're so thin, they like melt in your mouth. It's exactly. Oh my gosh. There's no need for the chicken. No. They're so creamy. They're not overly rich. Just like perfect. They don't seem like so dense and heavy as you would think. It's more like light. You can taste the goat cheese in there. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit of the truffle. Not even like a lot of that. I probably could have added more Kinda truffle. Get a little bit of the uh, the herbs too. Yeah, the herbs. Those are such tender, delicious potatoes. I feel like we've never eaten potatoes before. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Next time you are in a side dish rut, I hope you will try some of these recipes. You are going to love them. I'll have all of them linked down below. Also, don't forget to check out Thrive Market. Such a great offer for you guys. And they're having a big sale on top of my 30% off your first order. So be sure you check out them as well. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.